Chinese travel recovery stalls post lockdown with outbound trips down 40% and spending lagging. Economic factors and visa issues weigh heavily, contrasting with rising interest in accessible destinations like Singapore and Japan. We are going to be leaving you here with this report. Thank you so much for tuning in to World Business Watch. Come right back after this. Chinese travellers were supposed to get back in the air and back in the shops after the end of lockdowns. But the signs are that a travel rebound is fading away, and that's bad news for tourism businesses everywhere. 18 months after China reopened its borders, international travel numbers are well behind market expectations. Last year saw Chinese people take 87 million trips abroad. That's still down 40% on the pre-COVID era. UN data show they spent 24% less than in 2019, while spending by US travellers was up 14%. It's all a concern for holiday firms and retailers, with Chinese travellers the world's top spenders on international tourism and airlines. Popular destinations for the country's tourists, like France, Australia and the US, may feel a particular hit. A decline in the value of China's yuan currency is one factor, as it makes overseas travel more costly. High unemployment and a sluggish economy have also cut spending power. All that may have pushed people towards domestic travel, which has boomed even as international demand proved weak. Chinese travellers also complain of the time and difficulty in getting visas for some destinations, particularly in Europe. That leaves the number of them travelling to France at barely more than a quarter of pre-health crisis levels. Capacity on air routes to the US remains down 80%, with political tensions not helping either. By contrast, countries that offer visa-free access, including Singapore, Malaysia and Thailand, have seen rising demand. Japan has also seen a surge, helped by a weak yen that makes it a more affordable destination.